There was a time several years ago when I had multiple symptoms associated with my diagnoses of a digestive autoimmune condition. I felt like I was chasing down one rabbit hole of information or one medical expert's advice, and then another symptom would appear and I'd have to switch. And then I'd chase down that rabbit hole of information and advice, and it left me just scattered and exhausted. And if this sounds a little like you, I'd like to offer you a different perspective and a short practice that allowed me to step out of that exhaustive pattern of chasing multiple symptoms. Blessings, this is Brenda Carey, and I'm a holistic healer for highly sensitive souls. And my intention for this channel is to share insights and wisdom that I have learned through my own healing journeys so that you can awaken your inner healer. And I'd like to share with you several years ago, a time when I was initially diagnosed with actually multiple diagnoses for a digestive autoimmune condition and many symptoms that I was experiencing. My life kind of felt like a game of whack-a-mole. Does anyone remember that game where you get a mallet and the little artificial mole would pop up and you'd have to hit it down with the mallet before another one popped up? I feel like that's what I was doing. I was like chasing down symptoms. So for example, when my digestion was really painful, I would focus all of my energy on that one rabbit hole, find out all kinds of information, go see a medical expert, and then kind of feel like I had that area of symptom under control. And then all of a sudden, a skin rash would pop up and I would have to switch gears and go down that rabbit hole of information, perhaps see a dermatologist before I felt that symptom was somewhat under control. And then my moods would swing from anxiety to depression, and it just felt so scattered and just mentally and physically exhausting. And if this sounds a little bit like you, please know that I have great compassion for this, I'm gonna call it temporary season of life. And I'd like to offer you a different perspective and a short practice. Because I do think our traditional medicine system, although definitely has its purposes, and there are times when we do need to focus in on the details of a particular diagnosis or symptom, I think it also lends itself to compartmentalizing our whole being our whole humanness as not just a body, but a mind and a spirit as well. So what I needed to do for myself during those times when I was chasing down one symptom and then pulling back and then chasing down another symptom is to pull back and to look at my body, mind and spirit from almost like a bird's eye view to really take in the expansiveness of how my body, mind, and spirit function all as one, all as a unit. I don't think we're designed to see ourselves in separate parts. I think ultimately what we are seeking in our healing journey is an experience of wholeness. And we may not find that when we are constantly chasing individual symptoms. It makes us feel really compartmentalized so I'd like to offer you this short practice that I am going to guide us through. And this will help shift from this idea of being separate parts into pulling back and taking in this expansive view of the wholeness of who you are. So either find a comfortable seat or you could be standing. If you are driving or doing something active right now, just listen in and promise me you'll do this short practice at a time that is better for you. And what I'd like you to do is just for a moment, close your eyes down. And now before you reopen your eyes, listen carefully. When you open your eyes, I want you to move your gaze away from the screen so you're not gonna be looking at me. I'll just guide you through. And when you open your eyes, I want you to widen your gaze out. So you're using your periphery. So you take in the whole landscape of the room that you are in. 
Now, as you're doing this, slow down your breathing just a little bit. And as you have this wide gaze, draw awareness to the top of your head and slowly draw that awareness down your whole entire body, all the way down to your toes. And if you notice thoughts or a story about a particular body part that is not functioning the way that you would like it to, notice that it is speaking to you. And then bring your awareness back down, scanning through the body from head to toe, keeping that wide gaze, taking in a wider perspective of who you really are. Now I'd like for you to draw awareness to your mind. And I know we think oftentimes our mind is only our brain, but it is so much more. So not only draw awareness to your brain, but down your spinal column, to your heart, which has its own innate intelligence, and also your whole digestive tract so that we begin to see our mind from a more holistic perspective and that it's all intricately connected. And again, if you notice opinions or judgments or feelings that pop up, sending gratitude to your mind for not only thinking thoughts, but also doing its best to keep you safe. And then finally, if you feel comfortable, you could close the eyes down or you could keep that wide gaze and then draw awareness to your energetic body. So it is this bubble around you that extends beyond your skin. This is your energetic field. It acknowledges that you are so much more than your physical body. And you are so much more than your mind and the thoughts that you think, that you extend out into the ethers. And then allow these words to wash over your whole body. I lovingly acknowledge that I am not my diagnoses. I lovingly acknowledge that I am not my symptoms. I acknowledge that I am a whole being, body, mind, and spirit. And then to close this practice, I invite you to place one or both hands on your heart and just remembering that you are a whole person, body, mind, and spirit. And may you walk into your day with that knowledge if this video resonated with you, please give it a like. If you feel that it would benefit someone else, please share it. And as always, blessings on your healing journey.